everybody. Two years ago on a Tyra show called It Girl, we introduced you to the Beverly Hills Four. They're like this all-female clique who consider themselves the ultimate Hollywood socialites, kind of like the Paris Hilton clique. They're like that. But little did we know, or I know, that one of the girls on that show was hiding a shocking secret from me and my producers. This is how it all started. Check it out. The Beverly Hills Four were searching for a fifth member, and they brought two finalists to our show. One of those finalists was an attractive young woman named Kara. I love to just go out and have a banging good time. Get up there and shake the badonka <laughs> So you like that. Kara didn't make the cut that day, and I sensed something inside her that I couldn't help reacting to. What I see in you, even though you're saying, I want to keep it positive and all that, right. I see somebody that is, is very vulnerable. And, and, and I don't know your past, but I can tell there's something inside of you that wants to be validated. I right. feel like there might be some self-esteem issues and some other stuff. Right. This is Kara, again, with totally different hair. <laughs> Love the short hair. Now, um, I, I, yeah, I remember that day you were, I was almost this desperation that you had. I want to be a part of them. I want to be accepted by these girls. I have to, I have to, I have to. Mm -hmm. And it was scaring me. We didn't have time to show all of it. But that was scaring me. Um, today, you were coming clean. What was it that I, I saw? At that time, I was withholding a secret from you, the producers, the staff, the Beverly Hills Four, and everyone I was acquainted with in L.A. And it was something at the time that I felt was very sacred and um, I was in a very vulnerable place but I'm here right now to reveal to you my exclusive truth and that is I'm a transgendered woman. Wow. But I'm a young woman. But Yeah, you're only 23 years old, you're a baby. I'm only 23 years old. Transgendered. So I remember I kept looking in your eyes and saying I see vulnerability. I see the desperate need to belong. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what it was. You wanted to be so a part of those girls to be in that clique because that would validate the femininity, or what was that? You hit the nail on the head, I must say. I mean, at that time, I was very vulnerable. I, I would say I was trying to find my niche in life, mm -hmm. and I really didn't know what that was, so I thought I could seek it out through clubbing, partying, and just really exploring the, the Hollywood nightlife. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't realize was that I wasn't really prospering with my future mm -hmm. and what I really needed to do with my life and really seek solace and peace within myself. And I, I had to literally black out before I could see the light. Um, how is it dating for you? Oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> it's very challenging. It's, it's very hard because when you go on a date with somebody, you don't know, should I initiate the conversation with exposing my, my truth? And recently, there was a guy that was found who seemed comfortable with Kara's history, and they got together for a date just the other day. Y'all want to see it? Yeah. yeah, check it out. I used to be in the financial industry, and ever since the financial meltdown, um, I've definitely learned that you got to live in the moment, take opportunities when they come, and just have an experience. I got to the restaurant first. I looked out and viewed a few guys, and I was thinking, is it this one? Is it that one? Suspense was driving me crazy. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. I'm Kara. When I'm Ryan showed up, I was just ecstatic. Oh my gosh, this is just so surreal. He just looked amazing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous right now. So Things were going it. really well before our meals arrived. I'm from Ohio. Yeah, me too. Oh wow, what a small world. It was around that time I realized I had to break the ice and see where things stood. I was uncertain how much Ryan really knew about me. I just wanted to kind of reassure myself that you are aware of my past. Um, from what I did here, I was comfortable with it. And I, just, I really you know, wanted to uh, know how Ryan felt before I took things to the next level. You know, I find it really challenging to find guys that, you know, accept dating a transsexual woman, even though I identify as a woman. She just put it all out there, and uh, it was a lot to hear, and, you know, I was quiet then and, and processing a lot in my mind. They feel the word transsexual is synonymous with being homosexual, and I don't think they know how to really fathom or cope with that. As far as it being gay, I don't, I wouldn't say that it's gay. The situation's not 100% heterosexual. Maybe it's, it's a new area of sexuality. He no was totally cool with everything, here. and that was beyond a huge relief for me. After we broke the ice, we decided to, you know, take a walk in the park, and it was really nice, serene, and romantic. I was able to, you know, just kind of live in the moment and just treat her as a person and not think about her past or who she used to be. I would definitely love to go on a second date with Ryan. But I'm really glad that you've been completely open-minded. See where it leads. <laughs> See where it leads. So Ryan, how did you feel like when she just told you her story? 
Um, I mean, like I said, it, it was a lot to hear, um, but I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, I've never met anyone who's transgender, and um, I'm, I'm open to new experiences, and definitely was looking forward to meet her, and if anything, it would make a great story, so. You're very hot. <laughs> Second date? Y'all going on a second date? Yeah, I think it, it would be a good experience. Yeah. Um, it could be fun. Kara's a great person. Oh, Open-minded males. This is 2008. We'll be right back. So, um, Isis, I'm very excited to follow you on your journey. And thank you for being brave enough to show everybody what it's about. Um, and Dr. Bowers, thank you so much um, for making Isis' dream come true. Come true, come true, come true. You guys can catch Dr. Bowers in a new series called Sex Change Hospital, airing Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. on WE TV. Wow, I'm watching that. And we heard a lot from Isis about things that she never talked about in the Top Model House. But if you want to hear even more from Isis, go to tyrashow.com for an exclusive backstage interview with Isis. And we'll see you later.